What is up guys, Austin Ross here. I am just pulled up to this job that Mitchell and I have been working on. He's got all the posts marked, ready to cut off. So that's what I'm fixing to start doing, is cut them all off to height. Using a beveling machine, just straight cut. And then uh, go from there, but anyway. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, my name's Austin Ross. I've been a pipeline welder for the last seven or eight years, but here on this channel I share tips and tricks for rig welders, pipeliners, and the pipeline lifestyle. Here recently I've been doing more just rig welding work, like mobile rig welding. A lot of it being on fence, but anyway, let's get started. I like to have a clean tip. I like to get all this squared away first thing, since I'm working on trying to keep the quality of work up. So I'm gonna do this before I get started instead of getting in a hurry. Which with the bevel machine, you can get away with a little bit more dirty of a tip because it's way more steady, but there was one hole that was completely clogged up and I did not like that. It bothers me. All right, boys, all right. Right, got all the posts cut off. Now I have been over here most of the afternoon cutting the rails. Me and Mitchell took measurements of all the situations. We are actually cutting holes in the pipe. That's what Mitchell's doing right now. He's laid it all out. And now he's going through and cutting all of the posts with handy dandy circle burner, which is what this job is. If you've seen last week's video, I use this to cut that big lid out. If you haven't, you can go check out that video. We will put a link in the description. But uh, yeah, this handy dandy thing goes on a straight torch. Popping holes in the four inch post. That kind of thing works whenever you've got bigger post and new pipe. From the little I've done, asking other guys that have had way more experience building fence. Uh, it's, I don't know which is faster, but this is definitely cleaner and more or less work when it comes to the saddling. Uh, situation but uh, I don't know it worked good on a fence that Mitchell and I worked on last year so that's uh, why he's doing it here so um, and you can kind of streamline things like this we got to talking we could actually cut some of these rails that I'm doing now in a shop you know once you get all your posts set pull all your measurements because they go inside the, the uprights you know roughly an inch on each side so you could always you know if you're planning this job ahead of time you could actually streamline this type of thing so anyway there's options there's different ways of doing it but uh this is the way we're doing it and that's what i've been doing i've got my old evolution job saw i actually got a new one at the shop that evolution sent me to try out it's just a newer model this one's eight or ten years old now um, but it's it's been good wouldn't say it's the best saw in the world but it is a very good chop saw you can see I got a blade over there. It's a cold cutting blade and I like it way more. It's way more accurate, less burr compared to like the abrasive blade because that's all I'd ever heard of until I worked on drilling rigs eight or 10 years ago and that's whenever guys I worked with had the Evolution brand. That's the only reason I bought the Evolution, but uh, it's a fair saw I would say. You know, it does, it does good. Anyway, it is about time to go to the house. We'll be back tomorrow to rock and roll some more.
Mitchell, what's this? What, what's what? Why'd you sand this down? So I could get closer. Hmm. Smaller hole. Yeah. I guess that'd be the... I like it. The right question, the right answer. How's it going over here? Look like... Well, it's a, it was a learning curve on the 2 and 7 eighths, but I think uh, we got her, got her lick now. Looks good. Ready to rock and roll. Shoot. All right. It's the next day. Backing into my chop saw hole here. Keep on a cutting some cutting some rails to length. Pull my oh. Pull my situation across here because it is hot in Oklahoma. Got much better. Much better. First things first got to put a new blade on the old chop saw. I tried Mitchell's Makita blade yesterday and I really liked it. The Evolution blade is good but Makita just made a little different and I thought I was going to get a hold of a Makita this morning but the place that I called didn't have it so I'm trying out this. It's a cheaper, I don't know what brand but this thing and I don't I don't know I'm not expecting much out of it but I'm gonna work for today I did get an evolution blade as a backup because I still have quite a bit of these to cut so that is what I've been doing this morning the only reason I'm wearing a hard hat is literally for protection from the Sun burnt my face yesterday burnt my old face yesterday this this brand is coming back to me. I've used this brand of blade years ago. I don't remember how I liked it. We will find out. good man it's exciting it's like a lot of prep but like way worth it you I know think so. I think so too I really think if there's probably a number but probably something like I bet you there's like anything after like 40 or 50 feet I'm pretty confident this is faster than coping because you need the quantity to, to justify doing it this way sure yep yep and like we talked about new pipe and bigger pipe right right obviously and enough of it to make it worth it i agree because there's there's the setup that goes along with doing it this way where if you're doing like three or four ten foot sections you might as well just cope them and stop them up there and roll sure sure yeah yep yeah. yeah i'm excited coming together not too bad buff the slag off there Quick little 5P pass and then a fat 8010. Oh, yeah. Looking slick. I mean, nice, nice. Listen to the silence. I love morning times. It's kind of overcast this morning. Not too hot. Mmm, peaceful. 
but I'm ready to rock and roll. I've got a few more posts to cut this morning. Mitchell's almost done blowing all the holes in the pipe. We'll go through there and kind of clean up them holes. I think he's bringing his tractor today so we can, you know, lift up all these posts that I've been cutting and take them over and start putting them in and then uh, go to tacking them in and welding them out and put caps, sand all the caps down and we'll have gates to hang. So hopefully we can get some what Mitchell calls a uh, show iron or what welders, those of you that are welders, you know we call it show iron, like getting a bunch of stuff in there tacked up. Still a lot of welding out to be done, but at least you can actually see what it is uh, after today, you know, so I'm excited. But I've got just, I think, seven times four more posts to cut. Seven times four is 28, right? We're out from yesterday. Check out these gate jacks I modified. Cut the, well, you can't see them, it's covered up, but anyway, that's a squirrel moment. What I'm gonna do first thing this morning is cut some of this pipe right here and tack on the feet of that jack stand there with the roller heads on it that I've been using. With these heads right here, this head right here. See, the only thing is, is look, it doesn't stay rolly. But anyway, I'm gonna tack some pipe on there and then drive these stakes down that we use to stake our skirting down in all three legs to keep it from uh, tipping over whenever I slide the pipe. That is what I'm doing. This blade, I'll have to add up how many cuts I've had on it so far on this pipe that is two and seven eighths, three sixteenths thick, whatever you call that. Middle of the day yesterday, I counted like 32, but I've probably done twice that many. So I'm, I'll add them up and uh, say for sure how many cuts after after I finish today. But uh, it's, it's, doing, it's doing decent for a 60, 70 dollar blade compared to 100, some of them are 100 bucks or more. But anyway, yep, probably gonna get over 100 cuts out of it, sounding like. But anyway, yeah, yeah, let's get started. done got all our posts cut I definitely didn't have 32 left to cut I only had what did I come up with 18 or no 14 I think 14 more posts seven joints I knew I needed and they're roughly 20 foot joints so get two out of each one so 14 pieces is what I had left but what I come to figure out is I done the math on it and I think I got I thought I was just gonna just gonna have over a hundred but I had cuts on this blade roughly minus five give or take because uh, some joints are shorter you can see around the driveway and i got three or four out of one joint anyway now i'm going to go over here and clean up these holes i guess folks. That is 
one neat, neat fence, I tell ya. I beg them to ya. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. Mitchell and my brother-in-law built a fence like this last year. Well, it was one I helped weld on, but I don't think I made a video of it. But it was a uh, four inch post like this and two and three eighths cross members, still four rail. And they done that method where they blew the holes in the pipe and they really liked it, but it was a whole bunch of it. It was more than this. This is about 350 foot roughly. And the stuff they done was just under 2,000 feet, I think. But anyway, and Mitch really liked the way it turned out. That's why we've done it here. And what I like about it, it's kind of, it's way different than like what I was used to or what I am I am used to or whatever. What I done in high school and like before I started pipeline, you know, I worked for a bunch of farmers and, and uh, worked for a guy that, you know, built fence by the foot, but he done a bunch of feedlots and you know speed is everything right and I mean there's more than one way to skin a cat like I say all the time but like I really like this way as far as the like it, we spent two what is today Let's see I think I've been here for three so I spent roughly two days you know cutting pipe for 350 foot well no I cut the tops off and I cut pipe which cutting tops off only took like an hour and a half off of like 40, 44, 45 posts. But anyway, 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 a day or two cutting pipe, the cross members, and then Mitchell, like a day or something, day and a half cutting all the holes. So like you got all that prep, but then all of a sudden to have it all in there, like the fence is up. It still needs, you know, welded out. So you still, we're still gonna have a lot of time in it to finish it and put all the caps on and stuff. But as far as like getting it all done, it's real. I like it because you can streamline it and the it seems easier, I guess. I don't know, I really like it. But like I've said before, you definitely can't do that on every fence because only if the posts are bigger and it's new pipe. I mean, I'm sure you could do it on older pipe, but you might run into more issues if it's old pool filled pipe and stuff where the you know you don't know what's inside of it or it doesn't cut as good you might you know you might run into more trouble than you bargained for trying to do it that way and once you cut the hole in the pipe that's it you know what I mean like you can put it back but it's it's not gonna be the same or it's gonna take a lot more time to fix it so anyway pretty much to sum it up like I've said before everything is situation dependent and how much experience a guy has whenever he's doing a project I really like this way. I think it's neat. I think it's, uh, and I don't mean neat as in like cool. I mean like neatly done. You know, everything's uh, based off of a jig more or less, you know. Still got to be skilled, you know, to run a circle burner and to do everything. Uh, to have the patience, you know, it takes patience to do it this way. But and cleaning everything up before you do it, I mean, it just, it just is real, real nice. I like this method. I really do. My advice for this week is... Everything, every project is situation dependent. That's why it's so important to stay open to learning, you know, learn something every day. But anyway, thank you all for watching. We'll see you all next Friday. And remember, learn something every day.